Hi everyone and welcome to the D Hard House. My name is Alicia and I'm your host of this crafty channel here on YouTube. I noticed that there are a lot of new subscribers to the channel and I thought this would be a great opportunity to make a super short video introducing myself, especially since I haven't put up a lot of videos recently. Uh, so I'm going to try to keep this short, but just kind of telling you a little bit about myself and welcoming new people to the channel uh, and just touching base with you. So this channel is about uh, all the crafty things that I like to do. I do have a craft room in my home, which is where I'm currently located. Uh, you can see that I have lots of yarn, fiber, uh, a spinning wheel, and these are a lot of the things that I like to do. So I've actually been a crafter since I was a child. I learned to crochet when I was five years old. My grandmother and my mother taught me, and I was not very good. <laughs> but uh, the adults in my life crafted, they crocheted, they knit, they sewed, um, they were handy people who would fix things, and so it made sense that as a child uh, I wanted to do those things as well. And so that's kind of shaped who I am as a person, is I like to learn how things work and then be able to fix things, repair things, create things, uh, and that kind of drives a lot of my crafting choices. So I started crocheting when I was five, wasn't very good, did it on and off throughout my childhood. I picked up knitting when I was about 13. Uh, my mom had a book about uh, teaching you to knit. And so I used the book and I was pretty adamant that I was gonna teach myself with no help. <laughs> uh, I asked mom for a lot of help. Um, and eventually figured it out. But it took several years because I kept getting very frustrated with the process. I didn't feel like I was doing a very good job. And yeah, I was a teenager and hormones are a thing. So <laughs> it was pretty on and off for me. Um, I've been in school quite a while. Um, I teach for a living, so I have uh, a few degrees and um, I didn't really start getting back into crafting until I was finally out of school and was in my first you know real job after college <laughs> uh, and so I crafted a little bit during those times especially stressful times in school uh, but I couldn't really dive deep into it because I needed to dive deep into uh, school. <laughs> so so I did a little bit throughout the years, uh, maybe made some um, dishcloths, uh, baby blankets for friends, uh, little things, and they were always things that were rectangular or square in nature and no shaping to them. <laughs> uh, very mindless knitting or crocheting, something that wouldn't take a lot of um, energy for me to think about because like I said I was in school and so I was really focused on thinking about those things. So I became more of a serious crafter uh, recently. Uh, let's see, about 2016-2015 is when I'd say yeah, 2016 is when I really got like, okay, now that I'm not in school, I've settled into kind of my first real job, and now I'm looking for a hobby, and yes, crocheting and knitting called to me. I started watching podcasts on YouTube, and I just got really, really into being a crafter with a capital C. Um... Like I said, I really like to learn new things and understand how things work. Um, I think it's part of the reason why I chose education as a career path for myself. Um, I'm always learning new things and I really enjoy that. And it makes sense that that shows up in my crafting as well. So 
I do pick up new crafts or I explore deeper into the crafts I already do because I really like to learn new things. And so if I get bored with the same thing over and over again, I need to try something new. And so that's really what drives uh, a lot of my crafting choices. So I branched out of the rectangular, simple knits with no shaping. I tried socks and it took me a couple of years to finally uh, master socks and different heels and toes and patterns and toe up or top down and just exploring all these different things. Um, and then creating other uh, things that I can wear like sweaters and skirts and <laughs> things like that. Uh, but then there's different knitting techniques. So uh, color work knitting and cable knitting and oh lace and oh gosh, it's just, it's a whole world full of lots of fun. Um, and spinning, I started spinning. So learning how to create the yarn itself. Uh, incorporating different colors, uh, color theory. Oh, it's it has been a great joy to learn all of these many things. And uh, sometimes I find it's a bit overwhelming because there's a lot. And other times I find it really exciting because you kind of can't go wrong. <laughs> and even if you go wrong, you learn something from it. And like I said, that really drives a lot of my choices. So uh, I created this channel here on YouTube so that I could share the things that I learn with others. I enjoy watching other folks' podcasts who share what they've learned, things that went well, things that didn't go so well, uh, and just sharing those experiences. And so that's really what I'm trying to do here with this channel is just sharing things that I've learned and adding this viewpoint to the many voices that are out there. So if you enjoy what you're seeing here, uh, I appreciate you subscribing to the channel. Uh, like I said, there's a lot more subscribers here than <laughs> I expected. And so thank you for subscribing. I see you and I'm excited to continue to create more content, uh, sharing tutorials, crafting fails of things that didn't go quite well and what I learned from those experiences. Uh, so I look forward to seeing you around. Thanks for stopping by.